Hi guys and welcome to Motor Planet where today we're going to be showing you around a 2013 Kia Sportage. Now this one is the CRDI 1.7 uh, diesel. It's the CRDI 3 uh, which is the model and it's got a 1.7 diesel engine producing around 114 brake horsepower and up to 188 foot pound of torque. So a nice bit of power from underneath the bonnet when you need it. Now it also produces brilliant miles per gallon of up to 56 miles per gallon so you should see good fuel return as well. Um, we've got full dealership service history for it and two keys and it's been very very well kept It's lovely and clean. Uh, we've got brilliant looking alloys on it um, And a brilliant spec. So what we're going to do now is we're going to show you around the vehicle uh, give you a bit of an insight into uh, What spec this one's got just a general uh, wear and tear on the vehicle So we'll start off with the front end as you can see in beautiful gloss black uh, We've got the chrome detailing as well and the black lights Really nice looking lights. We've also got the headlight washers and the daytime running lights on this one, which are LED. I really like the chrome grille on the front. I think that looks really, really smart, especially as it ties in with the diamond cut alloy wheels, which are gloss black and diamond cut, obviously, um, and the wing mirrors and door handles, gloss black and chrome. Uh, so everything's tied together. It's a really nice color combination. There's plenty of space in this car. More, loads of room for all of the family. There's loads of spec, such as the uh, parking sensors on the bottom, heated seats throughout, a uh, full leather interior, um, and a really nice little party piece, which I like, which I'll show you just at the end of the video. But in general, these cars are brilliant. Really comfortable to drive. Uh, fuel, uh, fuel, eat. How do I put it? Uh, very economical on fuel, sorry. Um, and all the spec that you'd need. Um, there's not, not too much going on, but there is plenty of spec and all of the stuff that, you, like I say, you need. Um, such as uh, cruise control, speed limiters, um, traction control, all of that sort of stuff. You've also got um, hands-free as well, uh, voice control, daytime running lights, it's, it's, it is fully loaded. Everything you need and it's not cluttered in there. So what we're gonna do now, now we've had a quick look around the exterior of the car and you've seen just how nice and clean it is. We'll move on to the interior, talk about some of the spec on the interior and also take a quick look under the bonnet. So we'll start off under the bonnet. So underneath here is a four cylinder turbocharged 1.7 diesel engine. It produces a brilliant 114 brake horsepower, so plenty of punch and nearly 190 foot-pound of torque. So it's got plenty of punch under this bonnet, but it also produces really nice miles per gallon, up to 56 miles per gallon, uh, meaning that it shouldn't cost you an arm and a leg to run this vehicle. As we move on to the boot, plenty of space in the back of here. We've also got the option to fold down the rear seats with these handy little toggles here. Very nice and easy to use. Under the floor in the back, you've got a full-size alloy wheel spare, which is brilliant, and your replacement kit just at the side. As we move into the back, it's a very child-friendly car, uh, with all of your, obviously, door locks and ISOFIX points uh, just at the bottom of the seats. Um, you've also got heated seats throughout the car. Every seat is heated, bar the middle one. Uh, we've got electric windows with the touch of a button on the front. Uh, you will be able to switch these off if you do have the children in the back. But in general, we've got the black leather interior with the double white stitching, and that looks brilliant. And alongside them heated seats, godsend. Front door card, following suit to the rear, really nice styling, very nice and sleek, nice and clean. It's also got some nice materials used as well, such as the leather just at the back there for your armrest. And you've also got a few buttons up front. Uh, so this one here, just at the top, is for folding the wing mirrors in with a touch of a button. Uh, to adjust your wing mirrors, obviously this one, you've got your window locks, door locks, and all of your window switches. All nice and conveniently placed. The front seats following suit to the rear again, really nice styling to them. Black leather interior with a white stitching. As we move into the car, you've got a button for your parking sensors to switch them off. Stop start, it is a very economical car, uh, so that will be on all of the time. Uh, but there is a button to switch it off if necessary. You've got the hill descent and also traction control, which I'm sure you will leave them on. The dashboard itself is very driver-orientated and very, very nice styling to it. 
Uh, as you can see, it's only covered just under 72,000 miles, which is nothing for these diesel engines. They run forever. We also have full dealership service history on this one as well for the uh, 72,000 miles. Sorry. We've got the full leather steering wheel with the multifunction buttons on for your hands-free media and all of your cruise control and speed limiters. As you can see, very nicely equipped. You've got your automatic wipers, automatic lights. Just up here is where your screen displays the media controls. A little bit further down, you've got your dual climate control and your air conditioning and the heated windscreens. A little bit further down, you've got two different settings for your heated seats, both driver and passenger. And a little bit further up, just next to your cubby hole, you've got your another one for your parking sensors off. And you've also got your USB, AUX, and also the 12 volt socket for charging. It is a six speed manual gearbox in this 1.7 diesel. Having that extra gear just so it idles a little bit nicer on the motorways and longer journeys. Again, improving your fuel economy. So a really nice and economical car. You've also got your cup holders and plenty of storage throughout the vehicle for whatever you like. Now the one thing that I think sets this one apart from the rest is the beautiful dual panoramic roof, which looks fantastic. It makes the cabin really light and airy. Um, and with the push of a button, that goes back. It's got two different settings. So you just need to push it once. And the first setting will just lift the front of it up uh, just to get a little bit of air into it. And then the second push will push it right the way back. But for me, it's a brilliant, brilliant little extra. And something that is definitely considered when looking at a new car. So, I hope you enjoyed the video today, guys. I hope it's been informative for you. If I have missed anything, do feel free to hit up our website for any more information. Or do feel free to give us a call on 0161 335 9972. Remember everything that you're going to get with this car. So you're going to get your warranty, your pre-delivery inspection, your breakdown cover, your service and your MOT all for our customers peace of mind we also have great finance options um, as well as extended warranties as well if necessary and we also have delivery on at the minute at an amazing rate um, so do do have a look and get in contact for anything if you need any information on delivery finance the vehicle itself do feel free to give us a call we are operating at the moment unfortunately under covid restrictions we are operating on a short staff um, with uh, appointment only so do ring up before you bob down Thank you very much for watching today, guys. Everyone, I hope you keep safe. Thank you very much for watching today, guys, and I hope to see you all very soon.